Please welcome your first competitor from the Netherlands, William the Conqueror, Bodak. And now we come to the payoff. We're gonna bring in to the conversation our expert commentator and trainer, Mr. Neil Hill, who's all too familiar with this guy coming to the stage. He's been third in this competition, won the Arnold Classic, and Neil, if you've worked closely with him, this is a time where you get to sit back and analyze What's been going on with one of your protégés over the past six months, three years? Well, at first, obviously, yesterday, obviously, I don't think that William bought what I felt the best of William Vaughn at to this stage. I feel that William's got all the tools, the physique, the muscle bellies, the separation, hardness, refinement to really dominate and potentially win this class, like a lot of maybe three other athletes. I don't feel that he brought his best yesterday, but from what I can see at the moment, I feel there's a bit more hardness, dryness, refinement, and there's a lot more feathering, I feel, through this, this front. Yeah, front and quads. it's, it's going to get very tricky here because we're seeing them individually. Until we see them all next to each other, then we'll maybe, on a percentage basis, be able to determine how much they dried out. But he looks a little bit more sharper than yesterday. I imagine all of them are going to be a little bit more sharper. But getting to the meat and potatoes, I think his strengths here are his arms, his legs, his back double bicep is very solid. I think William's one of the three-dimensional athletes, which you put him in pretty much most angles, he's going to be very dense, he's going to be refined, he's going to be detailed, and when William's 100% on, you'll see his hamstrings firing. If his hamstrings are firing tonight, which I didn't see yesterday, yes, there was feathering, there was separation and hardness through those glutes, but his hamstrings were not really feathering and, uh, and really jumping out. But I feel that William's made improvements since uh, yesterday, today, so it's going to be good to see him battling out yeah, where he's going to place. And I've said in the past, William's a small, shorter bodybuilder. He needs to open up, up and up a little bit more so he appears bigger. Remember in Pumping Iron with Arnold? He said, Franco, you have to open up. You have to be grander. And William gets complacent in that, and he sometimes poses like a smaller bodybuilder. Now, guys, night overnight, we are seeing a pretty big difference in the conditioning yeah. of William Bonac. Yeah, there's no question he's a little bit drier. He's still, like Neil said, we've seen him better than this in terms of condition. The question is, did everyone else improve to the same degree or more? I think that's obviously the doors wide open, obviously coming into this years of Mr. Olympia with a number of athletes potentially battling out for that. So obviously with William up in his game from yesterday to today, big respect. And obviously his main competitors, which were going to be battling against him for that number one, two, three spot. Hopefully there's going to be, you know, uh, improvements with their physique, which is going to mean tonight's final is going to be more exciting for the, all those audience out there. Right. Well, I've said this in the past, even when you were working with William, he was always on the bubble of kind of spilling over. He's got a very short torso. He's got to keep his midsection tight throughout, especially in the transitions. And I think that's where he's lacking a little bit of detail that I've seen a little bit crisper in the past. Well, this is our first look tonight at William Bonac. Before a little while from now, we get to the confirmation round. I've never really been a fan of the guys that walk back and forth and kind of arm in the air, begging for applause. I know Dexter does that. Kevin Lavroni used to do it, but I'd like to see a more choreographed routine for the fans. Oh, yeah. 